Hello, everyone, and welcome to Around South Jersey. I'm Jim Quinn, and my special guest tonight is Dr. John Fresh from the Millville Chiropractic Center, where attention goes, energy flows. That's pretty good. Powerful statement. Yes, it is, <laughs> isn't it? And you know what, John? You always have some really neat statements on there. Who puts those up? Uh, Dr. Beebe and Susan, uh, somebody in our office, oh, okay. so they talk about each, uh, I, pretty close to, I'd say, two to three weeks or once a month. It's They're pretty attentive to it. They do change it often and try to just put little things up there to get you to maybe think about something. Yeah, that is really great. Send you on your way in a better better way, on your, <laughs> on your way, on your day. <laughs> Which is a good thing to be able to do, that's yeah. for sure. And we were talking about uh, the good things that go f with the natural Millville chiropractic, chiropractic, in essence, John, explain to them what chiropractic is compares to uh, regular medicine. So um, there's different components of your body that all need to be addressed uh, to last longer and, and work better. So for your teeth, that would be brushing them and getting checkups. And your back is what all the nerves of your body go through. And they go out and they give life to your body and that's how you move, that's how you taste, that's how you see, that's how you hear. So the better you can keep your spine and the healthier you can keep your spine, the better you protect the power lines that bring life and health to your body. So that's uh, one aspect of your health is, is your spine and nerve flow. And then other things like muscles or flexibility and strength and things would be PT, uh, feet would be podiatry. So there's all different doctors for all different body parts. And the better you take care of them, the better they work, the, la the longer they last, and uh, the more you get to enjoy life without having to uh, worry about how you feel each day. Well, you know, I don't know why, but I knock on wood, I'm lucky. I don't have aches and pains. Of course, I've been to Millville Chiropractic. I'm sure that's part of the reasons I don't have aches and pains. But I have a lot of my friends that are my age, and I am old. They'll say to me, oh, my God, Jim, just getting up in the morning is tough enough. But I guess I've always uh, done sedimentary type of jobs. I haven't, you know, I'm not a mason or contractor. In fact, I have no ability to do those type <laughs> things. So I guess that's probably, is, would you think that's part of it? Just yeah, I think how you live your life matters. So there's components. There's how much stress you put on your body and how many things you do for your body to promote healing. So the better you can handle the stresses and the more you can promote healing, the bigger space you make between those two, the more you fill your health account and you get to be the best version of yourself. If your stress is high and you don't manage stress well and your healing is low, you don't do things to promote healing, then your body's going to break down faster and you're going to deplete your health account faster. So it's ne not necessarily about how you feel or how you are compared to another person. It's, you know, do you want to tilt the scale to your benefit so that you're getting the best out of who you are and what you have available because you not only need to do those things so you can feel good now, you're also doing that for your future self. Yeah. So what you do now has a big impact on what you're going to experience 10, 20, 30 years from now, and you don't want to wait to then to find out you missed out on something. Well, you know, I think about that, and just about every doctor I've had on has verified this factor, is that I thank God I've never smoked and I barely ever drank. I mean, maybe once in a while I have a glass of wine or something, but 90 per 95% of the time I don't drink anything and I don't smoke, never did. And I think smoking seems to come back to bite people that have been smokers for well, quite a while. Well, you, you never really know, like, which donut causes diabetes. Oh, that's true, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which cigarette yeah. causes cancer. Right. So, um, you know, you can play the game of how you look and how you feel and what your tests say and if you have something or don't have something. Or you can know that chances are you're more likely to have problems if you do certain things. And then it's your choice to decide, you know, if you do or do not want to participate in those types of activities. Yeah. You know, so. Well, and you as know. As long as you know, what, you know, what your choices are and where they lead then you know you can make a decision about it but to do something that's harmful for your health and to think because you haven't seen the negative effects of it yet mm -hmm. that yeah. nothing's ever going to happen is probably not as good of an approach yeah a lot of the doctors i've fed on have said how smoking could come back to get you 20 years later even if you've stopped you just don't know the damage that it has done or it does i mean i've always <clears throat> my biggest problem has been i'm not an alcoholic i'm not a smoker but i've been a foodaholic and thanks to Dr. Atia, at least I'm in a reasonable weight rather than being really obese because he did the uh, bariatric surgery mm -hmm. for me. And well, that's interesting. And I guess as I look at my friends that are heavy too, 
it is very difficult. That, in fact, John, it's interesting as you talk about that. I remember when I was the mayor and I'd come home from a meeting really being stressed out, I'd just grab food and start shoving it in my mouth. Yeah. That was my way instead of grabbing a drink. I guess I was a foodaholic. Or, yeah, and I'd go and grab the food and just uh, to get rid of the stress. And, we, you know, talking about stress, there's, I mean, I have some, obviously, I think everybody has it. I guess it's the way you deal with it, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's mental, physical, chemical, emotional stresses happening, happening all the time. And, you know, the key with those things is how can you handle them in a way or repurpose them for your good, you know, for growth, for learning, for, <laughs> for changing your situations, for doing things differently, you know, versus um, to a negative benefit, which be, would be uh, thinking things are just going to change because you want them to. You know, it mm -hmm. takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of hard work to say no to a food that you've learned to make part of <laughs> yeah. your body and it'll it has cravings and it has a ton of things and you know that we can go without eating for quite some time but when that food craving hits um, you kind of don't think you can go another second without eating <laughs> <laughs> i got a funny story to tell you about food because of having what they call the sleeve surgery mm -hmm. i cannot eat chicken pot pie i can't eat spaghetti macaroni um they're basically the things that yeah, I just can't have because they swell up when they hit the stomach and then yeah. there's no room for the rest of the food. So one night I'm at a friend of mine's restaurant in Vineland and uh, I ordered very healthy fish, uh, I think a baked sweet potato and asparagus. So he comes back to me and he's known for the best macaroni and cheese around. And he goes, Jim, I'm out of, mac or, I'm out of uh, asparagus. He said, you gotta try some of my macaroni and cheese well I know I'm not supposed to eat it well I ended up eating it and I ended up in the hospital I passed out mm. it just it was a combination of things that caused it I had to regurgitate because I couldn't keep it down and when I got to the hospital they said yeah there's some nerve or something that could cause that which everything was fine fortunately it was just a short period of time but you know you really that gets to the point where I know I just can't eat it I cannot right. have macaroni and cheese. And that's the mentality you have to have. Yeah. You you can't yeah. make it like I don't want to or yeah. maybe on Monday. It yeah. has to be I can't. Yeah. I because really you have can't. to know Spaghetti. you have yeah. to play forward yeah. what happens if you don't. Yeah. You know, and that doesn't make it any easier. It's it's not an easy thing. But, we you know what has but it's worth helped it. me a lot. There's two things. I was uh, had a nutrition on my nutritionist on my show a few years ago. And there's a pasta called Banza. It's made with garbanzo beans. So that's all protein. Yeah, that I can eat. But what I find is Bird's Eye makes a, a zucchini pasta. It looks like pasta, but it's made with mm -hmm. zucchini. And that I can eat. So that's sort of... Oh, there's tons of options available. Yeah. yeah, you just have to break that pattern. Yeah. And I think rule number one, or a simple rule, is... is um, don't put anything in your house you don't want to eat. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yes, very good point. <laughs> you want to start somewhere. Yeah. Give yourself a chance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give yourself a fighting chance not to, have to <laughs> worry about it. I have seen, like, cauliflower pizza. Uh, my son brought home from uh, Target the other day cauliflower mac and cheese. Uh, I, I admire some Some people really get creative. And yeah. if you have somebody who knows their way around the kitchen, food can be tasty. It can be healthy. Yeah. It's... But they say, you know, the, the meal prep and all those other things, you got to give yourself every advantage possible to make good choices. Yeah. You know, the food already has to be ready. You yeah, have to have already right. uh, planned it out. And there's also so many levels you go. I mean, there's people who are getting blood work and testing their digestive enzymes. And, you know, there's all sorts of things because, you know, food is a big part of, you know, what you do and who you become and, and how healthy you are. Especially with, most importantly, one of the most important things is its ability to control inflammation. That's the oh, okay. major one. You know, uh, Rick Scott is a mobile police officer, and uh, he was man of the year, not this year, but the uh, last year. And he looks phenomenal. He is a vegan and, uh, you know, just doesn't eat anything except the vegetables, yeah. whatever ve vegans are allowed to eat. And he looks fabulous. And I've talked to a lot of people vegetarian vegan have become pretty popular i actually i'm sort of probably more of a uh, pescatarian i love mm -hmm. seafood but rarely do i ever eat meat and uh what well, i the wildflowers restaurant that's up yeah, here it's great isn't yeah isn't it though my gosh yeah. i could eat there every day and every meal that's why it's good to have somebody who knows what they're doing in the kitchen because yeah. they could yeah make you 
enjoy things that you didn't think you would enjoy. Yeah, so yeah. That's I good. remember one day I was in there. And I forget what they called it, and I'm going, boy, this is really good, whatever the name of the thing was. And what it was was an unusual type of mushroom, and my God, it was so good. And he's telling me about it. I said, wow, that is fantastic, you know. Um, but I guess eating healthy, exercising, things like that are the – key components to yeah there's pillars right yeah Yeah, so for for thousands of years anybody who drank water versus anything else would do better from drinking water anybody who slept well versus somebody who didn't sleep well anybody who was negative versus anybody who was positive anybody who took care of their heart and lungs versus anybody you know these are health isn't a mystery it's it's a it's a difficult discipline well you know talking about stress i found i have a lot of friends who have to take Xanax. Is that common, John? I think it More is. More common than we think. Way, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah that's, a, that's a world that you know, I'm not overly familiar with, with brain and yeah, chemistry. Right. But I, uh, so I'd never say, oh, just buck up, little camper, you, <laughs> you know, yeah. like uh, we used to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> However, um, I did see a, a post the other day, and it, and it kind of made sense. It said, like, we use caffeine for adrenaline. We use yeah. we we just yeah. we have a mechanism to create all these different things that are supposed to be happening naturally. And once you start fooling with Mother Nature, and raising things and lowering things, and then your body depends on them, and it's not yeah. there, and yeah. it sends you in a dip, and you don't have time for a dip because you got to keep going. So then you have another cup of coffee, whatever it is yeah, right. that you have. Yeah. We're just over stimulating and over doing everything, and we've just lost our kind of our natural ability to create those states out of just maybe not feeding every whim every second and you know maybe slowing down a little bit and uh you know taking a walk or going back to some of the basic things and recalibrate naturally instead of trying to get to the next soccer game or (laughs) go to the next thing and be super person all the time there's a cost for being super person well that's a good point i'll tell you what dr Connolly is my family doctor and uh, she was telling me, and I actually should give pre- credit originally to Casey Young. Casey mm-hmm. is in, into Ayurveda. Yeah, yeah. And she also told me about uh, ashwagandha, for instance. Mm-hmm. That's a very healthy, uh, I guess, calming type of thing. My cousin is a nurse, said there's a thing called holy basil mm-hmm. that sort of has that same calming effect without having to get narcotic because that, um uh, the razor pam and uh, the thing I just talked about, the other Xanax, mm-hmm. are both uh, addict or I don't know if they're addictive, but they're certainly a heavy duty drug. Yeah, I mean, your body is going to, um, I don't know how well it's going to respond to things over the years of you not knowing what your base level is or you're not, you know, your ability to not figure out what happiness is or what you're doing to get in the way of your happiness or what you mm-hmm. could be doing to promote your happiness. Um, sometimes it takes a little work, sometimes it takes a little help. I don't know where that middle ground is for each person, but I, I know you can't, um, I, I, know you, I, can't, I know you can't just go around it by not changing what you need to change and doing what you need to do because um, sometimes we're chasing a, a happiness that we've been sold, right? And it's, mm-hmm. an, it's an empty treasure chest, yeah. you know, so. <laughs> Uh, life's difficult. Yeah, it is. In fact, my one of my best friends is a therapist, a psychologist, and uh, he said, Jim, he is so busy. And f- everybody, in fact, I t- had a friend, she was trying to find somebody to, to you know, yeah. do therapy and stuff. So I think probably it comes back to what you were saying, John, we put so much pressure on ourselves. Oh, yeah. Now, and I think it's good that people feel comfortable talking to other yeah, people exactly. now about those things because yeah. I mean, if you're going to take care of an elbow or a back or anything, why not a brain? You know, why not your thoughts? Because they can really, you know, thoughts can really promote what you want, and they could, you could really be hard on yourself with thoughts and make it very hard to enjoy your day, because we can be pretty hard on ourselves. I just read something the other day, which the negative factor, that for 
every one negative thing that's said to you, it takes 10 positive things to overcome that negative thing yeah. that's said. And that's where I think people, parents have to be careful. You know, be positive with your children and, and don't be negative where you can. You know, try to correct them in a positive way. Wouldn't it be better if we did it this way and this type of yeah. thing? Because I think a lot of that really sp- stays with the child or yeah. adult, anybody. I mean, nobody likes to have somebody say something negative to them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, self-control is, is tough. I mean, on the parents' part, yeah. you know, right. and then you're dealing with the self con- lack of yeah. self-control on the child's yeah. part. And so it could, it could but it's, it's a worthy pursuit. Yeah. You know, to try to just do it a little better the next time. We're talking with Dr. John Fresh from the Millville Chiropractic Center, 1014 North High Street in Millville, 856-327-0320 is the phone number to call for the best chiropractic care. I promise you that. I've been there many times. And I actually, I'm trying to think. I've had, I think everybody except Dr. Doyle, or do, I'm, not, I'm sorry, Dr. Brooke, oh, yeah. Dr. Doyle, Dr. BB. And, course dr fresh so they're all great they do a wonderful job and i'll tell you professionals upbeat positive people they got it all right there with those four good people and they're voted best chiropractor for eight consecutive years that i understand and over 30 years experience and relief from many common aches and pains without the use of medication which is wonderful and of course they offer gentle safe and proven methods for relief from pain and muscle tightness without the use of medication. And as I just said, the phone number is 856-327-0320. we are back with Dr. John Fresh right after these messages. I'm Brian Lankin, third generation business owner. Al Shoes, been at the same location since 1961, our 61st year. We specialize in work boots, work shoes, orthopedic shoes, baby walking shoes, school shoes. We go up to a men's 17 and a woman's 13. It's $5 off 25 and 10 off 100 if you mention that you've seen this. More than a century ago, General Tire was born right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Imagine living without pain. For over 35 years, doctors B.B. and Doyle have helped thousands of people find relief from all types of pain. Millville Chiropractic Center has four doctors on staff specializing in hands-on or light-touch, drug-free pain relief methods. The examination, x-rays, therapies, and adjustments are all performed at one location. Schedule a consultation today. Enjoy life without pain and discomfort. Millville Chiropractic Center, the area's number one pain relief center. At Complete Care, we are patients serving patients. I choose to bring myself and my children to Complete Care because we are a one-stop shop. We use dental, we use medical. I feel as though the quality of care here is great. I love working here. I feel great to work at a place that serves the community. There's a lot of people in need. To me, patients serving patients means we've been in your shoes. We know what great care means to us and we want to provide that for you. Welcome back to Around South Jersey. My special guest this evening is Dr. John Fresh from the Millville Chiropractic Center. And Dr. John, you've written three books. Tell us about those. Yes. Uh, The first book was Winning Moments. That was sort of talking about our stress thing. So there's stress when we work, there's stress when we sit down, when we stand up, when we pick things up, when we put things down. So it was just a book on how to do those things a little better so you could reduce the stress in your life. And then uh, Health is Practically Free are the five pillars of health. 
that if you do any one of them, and if you do them in combination, even better, um, and if you do them, they promote better health, which is sleep, water, exercise, flexible, strong muscles, positive mental attitude, nerve flow, um, all the different categories that go under that. And if you do those things, your health will always improve every single time, no matter who you are or what you're going through. And then the last one is uh, the health equation, which is how you use winning moments and how you use those pillars of health with consistency and time to create an environment where your body is consistently healing and, and in spite of the fact that we're out living and working and doing the things we do each day, we try to create an environment for the body that can make sure that it just ends at the end of the day just a little healthier than it starts it so your health can improve or maintain or get the most out of it instead of declining faster than it should. Now, sleep. Uh, I love to sleep. I could sleep 10 hours. I just <laughs> One of my favorite things to do. Uh, I do, I think, is it Motrin? No, no, it's not Motrin. It's something that starts with an M. Oh, That's melatonin, it. yeah. It. Yeah, I do take uh, nine milligrams of melatonin before I go to sleep. But I can, geez, I can sleep. Yeah, I just love to sleep. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, is that good? or is that Yeah, I think there's sleep? an yeah. article for every hour. I'm sure there's an article for seven hours. There's an article for yeah, eight of the right. benefits. Yeah, and the right. thing. I, yeah. I think, um, I, I guess I'd, I mostly say, you know, you find the number that allows you to be at your best each day. Yeah. And um, the thing about sleep is obviously you are just able to just shut so many things down. You're yeah. able to shut your digestion down. That's true. You're able to shut your brain down a little bit. Um, and you're just able to get to a nice resting rate. You know, I guess the big thing with that people have, though, as long as they're sleeping comfortably. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And. You know, I people always make fun of me because I don't get up till late, but I don't go to bed till late. And for 20 years, I did this auction time show right here, in fact, in the studio, and I would do it from six to 11. So you know, my day, and and actually, I would get up uh, maybe by 11 uh, in the morning. I'd go to bed at three. You know, by the time you get home, you get done 11, wouldn't get home till maybe 11, 30, 12 o'clock, stop at the diner, get something to eat. And I'd sit there for a few hours, to unwind. Mm. And so it was that two. That puts you at, yeah. Yeah, so it's two or three. So I was always in that four to 12 mode. So, you know, well, you don't get up early. Well, no, I don't, because I've gotten used to that situation. And yeah, for me, this works, you know, well. Um, I guess everybody has to have their comfort as to what the amount of hours they need. I pro some days I can get away with eight, some days nine, some days ten, depending if I don't have anything going on. I know. think it becomes obvious if you're not getting enough. I yeah. just think yeah. you just won't have anything at the tank yeah. in the tank after a certain point. Yeah, I of course any more to be honest with you. I think I stay in bed and read the phone. Yeah. And so half yeah. the time I'm probably not sleeping. I'm, you know, reading the paper, looking at the phone, and yep. all that stuff. Is that bad for you? They say, you know, the the, the lighting on the phone, you yeah. know, it like stimulates you in a way that you know makes it hard to relax. And then obviously they're geniuses at grabbing your attention and keeping your attention. And mm. <laughs> you know, before you know it, you're in there 30 minutes, <laughs> an hour, and you're like, well, how'd that happen? I, I <laughs> they have, got me again. I have a routine. Before I go to bed every night, um, I do Wordscape on the phone, mm -hmm. and then I do uh, Solitaire on the phone, then I go to sleep. That's my routine for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it takes to to do that. You know, so I guess everybody has the routine and yeah. what they do, what makes them happy. But, uh, you know, it, it is interesting. Oh, I know one of the things I wanted to talk about that you've brought up several times. And I remember when I used to be on the diets, the Weight Watchers or whatever diet I was on, they emphasized eight glasses of water a day. And it was interesting, John, somebody at one point before I had that surgery, I was 300 pounds, and somebody said, Jim, at that, you need X amount more because mm -hmm. you've got more body fat that needs to be cleansed and flushed and all that stuff. So I guess eight glasses of water a day, somebody like you. Well, right? I think they say half your body weight in ounces. Okay, so if I was three hundred pounds, I needed one hundred and fifty ounces, eight eight sixty four. Yeah. Right? So yeah. I mean, you see, I and it's not. An, I don't think it's necessarily an exact science. It's just somebody to get at least within range. Yeah. So that you know, because water is just so important for yeah. detoxifying, hydrating. Yeah. Well, it's interesting now. When I go out, I almost always get ice water with lemon. That's mm -hmm. my drink. I love it. It's refreshing. Yeah, a little bit of lemon in it just. Works 
works out well for me. Occasionally, I'll get unsweetened iced tea with lemon, but I don't use sugar. I've never drank coffee. I don't like the taste of it. I don't really drink hot tea. I drink iced tea and, and water. And I drink a lot, a lot of bottled water. Is that any better than tap water? Is it about um, the same? I, I guess it would matter on wh where your tap water is, but they say plastic you know, leaks mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, bottled water yeah. from it you know, being heated and cooled right. so many times. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there are great water systems out there that probably yeah. are a really clean way to go. And, you know, if you think about it, you know, we probably consider the oil we put in our car more than we consider the water yeah, that we true. drink. So yeah, good point. it's it's easy how we fall into these little grooves. And we just don't want to wait for um, emergencies to happen before we, you know, give more attention to areas that we could have yeah. just been given areas that attention from the beginning yeah. and just avoid some problems altogether. So water is water is a good one. So do you drink tap water? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I, I don't have any special filter system or anything uh -huh. in the house. Well, you live I'm in just God's happy country. To get, what's that? You're in God's <laughs> country anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I just try to make sure I get enough of it. That's yeah. Well, luckily, it's your weight you, your aid is more than fine. But you, it, what's interesting? Water's really interesting. Like sometimes you'll have a glass and it'll give you ener you know give you energy or. Yeah. Make, you know, help fill your stomach up a little yeah. with, you know, there's yeah. a lot of different ways yeah. it helps out. So I've been doing the intermittent fasting diet. Mm -hmm. It works out well for me because I can eat up till 11 o'clock at night, but then I don't eat the next day until like six o'clock or whatever mm -hmm. the 16 hours is. That's a strategy a lot of people yeah. are using. Yeah. So Mayor Finucci, my God, he looks fabulous. All through the intermittent fasting diet, mm -hmm. lost all kind of weight, looks fantastic and you mentioned too while we were talking about uh you know digesting and stuff if there's nothing there that has to be digested it doesn't take away from sleeping or right you know, reg and your, your body, body utilizes fat yeah that's it and right it, that's the yeah. ultimate thing is to get your body to also have fat as a fuel source not yeah. just the sugars and the carbohydrates and the calories yeah and we are what we eat and unfortunately it's what happens and like you said i occasionally i will get something I shouldn't have, like a donut or something. Mm -hmm. but, oh, John, you know what else I did find? Folks, this I found worked well for me. Yasso, Y-A-S-S-O, is a frozen yogurt. And it has protein and very little sugar and all that stuff. And that's my like my go-to chocolate thing. You can get chocolate, frozen, Yasso. I, mm -hmm. uh, I got them at the shop right the other day. I also have them at Target. I, they're the places I shop. I'm sure other places. No, they're too. great little tricks. I mean, I have a protein shake. You get a chocolate protein yeah, shake, and that great? could be your protein and, and yeah. chocolate. Yeah, and yeah. You that throw helps a healthy too. fat in there or something yeah. if you like peanut butter or coconut yeah. oil, and and that's those are the little tricks you need. You know, you can use. Yeah. In fact, I love the chocolate ones that you know that drinks. Some of them have 30 grams of protein, mm -hmm. which is fabulous. Yeah, I think the average person is supposed to have 60 grams of protein. Yeah, I, I've i read different things that say we've been sold to eat a lot more protein than we actually need. need but right. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. you, That's you definitely point. need some for sure. But what I like, John, is like we talked about earlier, like wildflowers. You can get protein without it coming from meats, you know. It's, right. Uh, Vegetable. uh, vegetables yeah. and things. And this was interesting. Uh, Rick Cott was with me. He was my guest at to the New Jersey Motorsports Park a few weeks ago, and he's vegan. So the chef there is fabulous. And he went and made him this gigantic vegan platter, and he said, Jim, it was fabulous. You know, so I, I think... I was at a luncheon there before. They really do have they a... They do, don't they? They have a plate yeah. for, for people who don't eat meat. Yeah, yeah it's very... Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I mean, that's... People, I think, are becoming more and more aware of vegetarian mm -hmm. and, of course, vegan is a little bit tougher. I was saying to my friend Joe Pierce, who has the pizzeria at her Bim's Pizza, uh, I said, Joe, you ought to try to get vegan cheese because that, you know, obviously a vegetarian can use the regular yeah. cheese, but vegans can't have. Well, vegans. some people make drastic changes, like you said, they yeah. have to. And yeah. other people want to make a ton of changes, and you're just better off making one, yeah, one at a time. Yeah, it makes sense. Not try to yeah, you burden yourself. make one because then yeah. you also have the, you get to experience the benefits. Yeah, and then experiencing the benefits helps you to maybe be encouraged to do another one, and then you don't want to ruin your benefits. You know, it's yeah. it's a yeah. it's a process. So one one thing is always better in the beginning. 
I mean, if you can do a half to and you're a rip off the band aid type of person, I think that's what we all try to do. Yeah, but that's true. we've all been through New Year's enough times to know that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anything in the right direction for a longer period of time is better than a lot of things for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's for darn sure. We're talking with Dr. John Fresh, who is with the Millville Chiropractic Center. And when we get back, we're going to talk about his. Uh, business down towards the shore and we'll talk a little bit about his wife and his lovely daughter so sounds we'll like all that right after <laughs> these messages at mince great. insurance we're proud to have been serving our customers for nearly 80 years offering 30 different insurance products for your auto home and business and to help ensure that you're getting the best rates possible we give you up to three quotes for every policy so you can choose what's right for you at mince we're part of the community local representatives, supporting events, and proud of it. It's part of who we are. Mintz Insurance. Call today and find out how we can help you save on insurance or visit us at mintzinsurance.com. If you suffer from headaches, you are not alone. For over 35 years, Doctors Beebe and Doyle have helped thousands of people find relief from all types of pain. Millville Chiropractic Center has four doctors on staff specializing in hands-on or light-touch, drug-free pain relief methods. The examination, x-rays, therapies, and adjustments are all performed at one location. Schedule a consultation today. Enjoy life without pain and discomfort. Millville Chiropractic Center, the area's number one pain relief center. I chose DeMarco Luisi Funeral Home because they treated me with respect and compassion. I couldn't have gone through all this if I didn't have DeMarco Luisi by my side. They did everything that they could to make me happy and that was important to me and my kids. At the DeMarco Luisi Funeral Home, we're here for you and your family in your time of need. I'm Brian Lankin, third generation business owner, Al Shoes, been at the same location since 1961, our 61st year. We specialize in work boots, work shoes, orthopedic shoes, baby walking shoes, and school shoes. We go up to a men's 17 and a woman's 13. It's $5 off 25 and 10 off 100 if you mention that you've seen this. Welcome back to Round South Jersey. Dr. John Fresh from the Millville Chiropractic Center is my guest. And Dr. Fresh also has another office down in the Linwood area. Right, Linwood, John? New Jersey, yes. And you live close by. Yep, right that. in Northfield. Right now, Northfield. did you grow up in Northfield? Uh, Ventnor and then Atlantic City later on. Like, probably, uh, that, that was more like the end of high school oh, in Atlantic okay. City, but mostly That's in why Ventnor, I went to Ventnor Heights. Heights. Now I know uh, why. Uh, Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. All my friends that I've run into down there, a lot of them with the Holy Spirit, yeah. which is a good school. Yeah, it really was. Had they built a new? They didn't build a new high school when you were still. Uh, the Atlantic City one. Yeah. Uh, it was my friends just graduated from the old one. That was a great old building. I was the in new there. New one was games being and stuff. Yeah, it was being built. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, the new one was, was very nice. Also, of course, Holy Spirit's very popular. Now, your wife's name's Jennifer. Jennifer. Right? And where does she go to school? Uh, Jennifer is, uh, she's in Linwood, the Linwood office, and then Mackenzie, she just turned 12, she goes to Atlanta Christian. Oh, that's great. Where is that? Um, it's like EHT, you know, EHT yeah, is sure. like this yes, nebulous, huge yeah. area, no, but it's EHT. out, yeah. But um, yeah, she really enjoyed that. She did uh, cheerleading this oh, year, she super. had a good school year, oh, and it's great. a great school. Yeah, especially after the uh, pandemic. And yeah, we love all the families, we love all the kids. They, you know, like if a basketball game ends, they're still all there. You know, That's kids nice. are shooting around yeah. after the parents are there. It's yeah. a great community. It's like family. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Really is. That's wonderful. So do you, uh, does Jennifer run the office like, what? Certain yep, days. Yep, she's there certain days. I know days. you told me you couldn't come Tuesday, so I feel yeah, yeah. My wife's got you down there. Yeah, she has the schedule. Her relief, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're down there, and she loves, she still loves doing it. We went, we had gone to school together. We had taken every class together. Oh, did when you we really? graduated chiropractic school, where, yeah. Where did you go? We went to Atlanta. Oh, wow. Yeah, Life University. In so Atlanta. You, you guys were dating before you went to school? Yep. Okay. And then we went to nice. school there and both wow. became chiropractors That's together. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. How long have you been married? Oh, 
one of those questions. <laughs> um, we were like 95, 96, we okay. met, and then we okay. did, we got married a, quite a bit later. <laughs> well, that's okay. I, I laugh. Uh, my buddy across the street, Rob Bruni, he and his uh, significant other dated for quite a long time. Right, that's, yeah, that was married. sort of our story. And, uh, and that seems to be not such a bad idea. In fact, Tommy Lamont, I just did his wedding uh, a couple weeks ago. And he and Christine, had, they, have a, they had a four-year-old child, so they had been together uh, quite a few years before that I got to do their wedding and stuff. So, hey, doesn't matter as long as you get married right, sometime down right. the road, right? And, yeah, uh, that so we're like putting it. on the years together. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. It really is to have all those good things to mm -hmm. share. And uh, so Mackenzie, what's she like to do besides go to school? Uh, she likes tumbling and oh, gymnastics, oh, and great. she loves uh, – hanging out with her friends and uh, she really it's really cool she likes uh, helping out you know anytime oh, she wonder where she gets that from <laughs> yeah mom and dad like helping yeah. out too I think that's great so um, what's she doing this summer just hanging out uh, this summer uh, some gymnastic classes and then um, she always tried to get together with friends to yeah, go sure. do something yeah, that's, that's like seems, 12, yeah. and then uh, she enjoys you know just catching up with them they you know have like chat things on sure. the phone when they yeah. can't be together yeah. and uh, that's nice. they, they just enjoy having fun i you know like when summer hits and i see her at home i you know i hope she doesn't think that's what it's like when you're at school like <laughs> everybody's having a party when you go to school <laughs> it's really not like that <laughs> but i guess it's summertime so that's what kids do right yeah now how long have you been with millville chiropractic center mm, i think that could be nine years okay. eight or nine years that's so. good yeah. And how long have you had your practice? What It's called Fresh? Yeah, Fresh Start oh, Chiropractic. Okay. We've had since we moved back uh, from Las Vegas, which was 2006, I believe. So we've had that for... Did three, you practice in Vegas? Yeah, we had a practice okay. for yep, f three or four years in Las oh, Vegas. That's yeah. That's sort of nice, too, because like, you know, Mackenzie wasn't around then, no. so you were free yep. to travel and mm -hmm. do what you wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, we had That's an neat. office there, and we would, you know, we were um, the chiropractors for uh, boxing matches, Vander Holyfield. Oh, and no kidding. All sorts of cool things. That's and neat. Us, uh, the hockey teams, do you remember, like, the Boardwalk Bullies? Yeah, I sure Las do. Las Vegas yeah, Wranglers, absolutely. so we were chiropractors yeah. for, for them. the minor league hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great cool. hockey is a lot of fun. Yeah, live. yeah, that is really neat. Yeah. So I had to get you to become the chiropractor for Tommy Lamont. Yeah, think. and we had Cirque du Soleil people. They were oh, interesting, that's cool. too. Yeah, we're all that, travelers. That's and, true. Yeah. yeah, that is really neat. Yeah. Days. Yeah, I can see why you almost didn't want to come back. Yeah. So yeah. what brought you back? Um, Family? It was just time. Yeah, oh. it was just one of those things where we wanted to practice there, and my mom was living out there at the time. Oh, that's nice. And she wasn't living there anymore, and we wanted to be close to family. And all the things, sometimes you think you're um, – you're like you're going to see what else is out there and then you start to appreciate more where you live and what's around yeah. you oh my god the jersey Shore yeah is great and too. now i have yeah. a high level yeah. of appreciation for just yeah. enjoying everything about the area you know yeah. all the parkway drives are all water the, all the shore yeah, towns true too. the yeah. woods yeah you know yeah. in any direction yep and you know. someday you're going to the delaware bay the when delaware you, bay when you get out to the hotel charlesworth yeah hotel charlesworth we always say that's the other jersey shore <laughs> yeah i was telling john about how fabulous that place is uh, yeah we live in a great area yeah we really do i yeah. mean you're close to all the good uh, you know jersey shore communities and you know the ocean's right there and, yeah know, a lot of good restaurants in your area too and of course the casinos are there so you mm -hmm. can you know have some fun and win a lot of money yeah right <laughs> that's how they make them <laughs> yeah right sure yeah <laughs> yeah they make them to take them yes right? they sure do i i never won anything <laughs> actually i think i did win twelve hundred dollars in las vegas but never in atlantic city <laughs> that's a neat town i don't think i'd want to live in vegas but like you said you had the opportunity to oh i ride the boardwalk and, each week with somebody yeah. you know we ride yeah, the boardwalk man. it's beautiful right. to do yeah. the, the beaches are great yep that's true it's uh we, we are fortunate like you said you got the pine barrens and oh yeah you know, you've got the rivers and the you know the forest and the delaware bay besides the atlantic ocean and you know i i really like my had a house in sale for well next to Dr. BB for mm -hmm. 30 years and uh, really and got yeah I got to know that well and I enjoyed being down in the Townsend's Inlet section of Seattle City which is fun and people love to go down and spend the week or you know whatever and people come from all over 
and uh, enjoy and bring the family. It's a, it's a great thing to be able to do. So we talked about the one book. Mm -hmm. What was book number two? Um, so those were sort of an overview of the three. So the oh, okay. winning moments was oh, the one. Right. Okay. Health is practically free. And then the health equation sort of brought them I all together. It. And that's just like a, a resource manual uh -huh. that people can use. I also have on drjohnfresh.com. If you put your email address in there, um, you will get four videos on ways to have a better neck and back, simple ways to solve neck and back problems, and then it send, signs you up for a monthly blog, and every month there's a new video coming out on stretching or exercise, things like that. So I there's a ton of resources I usually have available for people. Yeah, I think our producer has one I saw you. Yeah, that was uh, the Facebook videos. I guess, I guess we can scroll through a couple of those, uh, just different stretches you could do. If you go to our Facebook page, Millville Chiropractic Center, uh, you can learn different strengthening exercises, different flexibility exercises, uh, exercises that show you how to hit problem areas. Um, just just some basic exercises. This is one of probably a thousand that are up there. So if you have something with neck tightness, there's neck stretching videos. If you have low back tightness, there's low back stretching videos, strengthening videos, and just uh, videos on how to make exercise simple and have it be something that you could do each day in just 15 or 20 minutes instead of you know worrying about thinking you need an hour or need to get to a gym or need to mm -hmm. do something extravagant to give your body what it needs to to be healthier each day so i want to know why you're always so busy at millville chiropractic center <laughs> i came by today i had something i had to do before we started the show and john it's basically was a i guess you're uh, appointments get done around 6, yeah. 6.15. So I didn't want to rush him, so we got to be here at 6. So we actually started tonight's show at 6.30. But I came by about quarter of 6, and, man, it was rocking and rolling. Yeah. And whenever, I, whenever I'm there, but I will say this, folks, don't worry about waiting. They are efficient. They get you in and out very, very efficiently, and you know, it really works. I, you, you have it. Your whole staff has it worked out very well. And as I mentioned, some of the nicest people you're going to meet are going oh, to be sure. the staff there, sure. too. Sure. You know? Yeah, we have, um, I mean, the product being, you know, chiropractic, it's just, um, if somebody hasn't experienced it yet, it's, it's, they usually come in and, and they're just very surprised about what the whole experience is. They may have some image of what they think it's going to be, but they'll get x rays and they'll get a report. And sometimes they'll say, you know, that's the most thorough report I ever received. Somebody just said that today. Nice. Some people have never been adjusted before. And at the end of the day, it's just getting um, people to realize, hey, yes, there we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just getting people to realize that um, your, your nerves are a lot of the times why you feel the way you do. And if the back is irritating those, um, that's going to be the reason you don't feel so good. And by getting your back healthy and protecting those nerves better, your body can shut off that smoke alarm and you can get back to feeling better. So because of that product of chiropractic and the power that it has on helping people to feel better, um, people get better, they tell their friends, they come in, they try it, and after 40 years of people getting results there, you're gonna have a lot of people who wanna be there. Yeah. Well, and I think the good point that we've talked about in the past is it's all natural. It's not yeah. drugs. It's not, uh, you know, things that are not letting your body's healing itself. You're yeah. helping by knowing what to do and, the, you know, the stretches and all the things you yeah. talked about just a little bit ago that rather than disguising the pain, you're hopefully eliminating it. Yeah, right? it's, it's yeah. just one aspect of care. I mean, most people... Um, at, when they get into their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, it's joints that get them in the end. It's not, you know, a lack of, you know, muscles or, <laughs> you know, it's neck pain, it's hip pain, it's knee pain, it's back pain. And just joints get neglected our whole life and they get abused with how we live our lives a lot of times. And if they don't get the care that they need and they start to clog those pathways that the nerves go through, it gets very hard to enjoy life. That's the reason people don't go to barbecues. That's the reason they don't take long drives in cars. That's the reason they have to sleep a certain way. That's the reason they get woken up in the middle of the night. That's the reason they have to quit working or, or pain, have pain when they get home at the end of the day or if they sit too long. It's, you know, it could be from neglecting joint and muscle problems for too many years. Well, it seems like recently I've had a lot of friends get 
knee replacements, double knee replacements. Is that just from overuse of maybe? I mean, I think, I don't really, honestly, I don't know how people from 20 or 30 years ago, I mean, they were a lot tougher generation than we were. were. I mean, they were a physical generation. And they, I I mean, maybe they didn't complain to me, but (laughs) but I never heard them take a peep. I remember my great grandmother hunched over making people food Mm -hmm. in a dress, in shoes, nylons, you know, like fully dressed, fully ready. You could tell, I mean, now I've realized how much pain she was in, you know, like going from the countertop to the desk to get to the kitchen. Yeah. But just up every morning making food, doing her thing for everybody and, and, um, to my knowledge, not complaining much about it. So um, I, I don't know. I guess there's a, mm. I don't know if toughness has something to do with it or more things are available or things I think over time also become less invasive. And the less invasive you are, usually the better benefits you have, you know. So, um, you know, as surgeries get better at being invasive and, and less scar tissue and less damage they have right. to cause to get yeah. a job done, maybe they're having more success. I don't know. I know that one thing is for sure is we have to remember with surgeries and procedures, those things cut away damage, but they're not gonna make your knee healthy or your back healthy or keep your neck or knee or back healthy. Mm-hmm. They're there just to cut the damage away. It's still your job to yeah. get to PT, to get to chiropractic, to get your own routine, whatever it is, to restore health to those areas so that the problem that caused the problem in the first place and caused the damage in the first place doesn't stay there and continue to cause more damage because you'll just be in the same boat mm-hmm. within five or 10 years. We're talking with Dr. John Fresh from the Millville Chiropractic Center. We'll be back to wrap up the program right after these messages. More than a century ago, General Tire was born right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Imagine living without pain. For over 35 years, doctors Beebe and Doyle have helped thousands of people find relief from all types of pain. Millville Chiropractic Center has four doctors on staff specializing in hands-on or light-touch, drug-free pain relief methods. The examination, x-rays, therapies, and adjustments are all performed at one location. Schedule a consultation today. Enjoy life without pain and discomfort. Millville Chiropractic Center, the area's number one pain relief center. At Complete Care, we are patients serving patients. I choose to bring myself and my children to Complete Care because we are a one-stop shop. We use dental, we use medical. I feel as though the quality of care here is great. I love working here. I feel great to work at a place that serves the community. There's a lot of people in need. To me, patients serving patients means we've been in your shoes. We know what great care means to us and we want to provide that for you. Welcome back to Around South Jersey. Jim Quinn along with Dr. John Fresh from the Millville Chiropractic Center, 1014 North High Street in Millville. And they've been over 30 years. And Dr. Fresh and Dr. Doyle and and Dr. Brooke and Dr. Beebe are the best you're going to find. And they really, and and it is interesting, John, uh, we were talking during the break. I was saying, I think you can all see what a very nice man John is. He's not phony. He's sincere. He's got a great personality and all that stuff. But to the credit of Dr. the other doctors, B.B. and Doyle and Dr. Brooke, who is actually Dr. Brooke Doyle, uh, they are wonderful people too. And I, I always remembered Jim telling me that he looks for the 
people with a good personality, that are positive. Mm-hmm. And you know, one of the things I've always said, John, I don't want to be around negative people. If you're negative, please go somewhere else. Don't yeah. come sit with me. Don't try to pull me down. You know, I don't want that because I do look at the glass half full all the time. And you have to or you'd be going, you know, batty after a while. So, uh, that And your staff, they're great. I mean, that's what's neat. As you see that place, you don't see anybody in there that's not smiling, not welcoming, anything I can do for you. And, and again, as busy as it is, you don't wait long. John, uh, George, could we put the, the room up that, uh, that I wanted to talk a little bit about this. I know I go in there and tell yeah, the therapy, therapy room. Tell everybody. Yeah, so those there. tables are actually rolling tables. So they roll through the spine and get mobility into the joints. And then the white things on the brown stand at the far end of the room is electric stim to help with uh, muscle spasm and help muscles relax. And there's a light therapy wand on there that also does the same thing to promote you know, healing within the cells and relaxation in the muscles. And then the other room we have is where we do the adjustments. Yes, right, yep. which I'm familiar with. So, yeah, and, that, and I'll tell you, that room is wonderful because all the stem and all the stuff you get, you feel really good. Mm-hmm. You feel good before you go in to get the adjustments as well. And uh, the adjustments have changed, John, haven't they, some from the older um, ones? There has been, I mean, over the over 100 years that chiropractic's been around, um, there's hundreds and hundreds of techniques. I see. And at the end of the day, some people have ones they like better than others. Some people like cracking sounds. Some people don't like to hear the sound. (laughs) Some people, you know, just want to feel as little pressure as possible. No matter what technique you use, the ultimate goal, the adjustment never does any healing. It's the nervous system that has the ability to heal. I see. So it's, it's the chiropractor's job to get the spine as healthy as possible, to protect the nervous system as good as possible, for as long as possible so that it can continue to bring healing and life and clear messages from the brain to the body and the body back to the brain so the body can do what it's already designed to do which is heal and repair itself. So the, the, the adjustment as long as it restores health to the spine, it gets the joints moving, it gets the joints healthy and keeps them healthy and protects the nerves better, it's going to be doing its job. And let's one thing we haven't talked about is you are you take insurance, right? Mm-hmm. Almost any kind of yeah, insurance. insurance, cash. You know, with the way insurance and copays are yeah. now, I, I, some of the things are are very similar. And not that I would know what your case is or what your case is going to cost, but just put it this way: when the world is thousands, tens, and hundreds of thousands of dollars to treat <laughs> symptoms and to treat pain, yeah. chiropractic is in the hundreds category. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if you even need that, you know, yeah. so yeah. it's a good deal. Yeah, it certainly is. And what do you recommend uh, once the people are in the routine? How often should they come? Yeah, so the beginning part of the routine is to get that person's back healthy again to protect the nerves so they can heal, feel better, be active, and get back to what they enjoy. At that point along the way, the goal is you're trying to figure out what are they doing in their life and what is that causing their body and what stretch would maybe counteract that stress so that each day that stress isn't multiplying and complicating and overwhelming them, but they learn how to take that stress off each day so that their body can be healing instead of breaking down. So along the way, you're learning which stretches do they need, where, where do they need to strengthen, how often they need to be adjusted, how can they do their job better, how can they sit better, and all these pieces that you're moving around, you're moving it around so that they fill their health account each day instead of take a withdrawal from their health account. And if you could get them doing that day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, they're going to be experiencing their best. And people many times say, you know, I'm back to doing things I haven't done for five years, 10 years, 20 years, because they're starting to heal bit more than they're breaking down. That's great. Yeah, yeah, that really makes a lot of sense. It's more important to heal than as you break down. One thing, I guess, um, posture, like what, even here, I can feel it. Well, that's where you help me with my back that part of it. I just, you know, I don't know. My, lean forward or you know whatever I have to think about it so that's been my only problem I really don't have any real bad aches and pains a little bit of an ache under the shoulder blades but is that from bad posture you think it could be (laughs) right and just think of it this way if your head's a bowling ball and it's up here if you put the bowling ball out here how tired would your arm get compared if it was back here so that arm in the bowling ball analogy is your neck and upper back and every time your head goes forward your back has to carry more weight 
Yeah. So posture. And I have a big head, so <laughs> yes, it does. You have a big bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, swear, I thank the Lord he didn't make me bald. <laughs> I'd be one of the homeliest bald men you'd ever see. <laughs> big head. I guess my dad had it. <laughs> Just something. Uh, you I think if I came to that day, I think I'd, I'd take it down, I think, if I was. Would you shave your head if you got, if it, like, went down, down, like, do you think John, if you had only a little a bit wig. left? Are you kidding me? Really? Would you go that way? <laughs> well, I'm, try, I'm trying to tell you the truth. I've got an ugly head without hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, some days I've we been, have to make I've difficult decisions. Well, I thank God my father had a full head of hair when he died in his 80s. And I know I've got that bald spot back here, I guess a lot of guys get, but I, I don't see it because I can't see it behind myself. So I think you still got something <laughs> to work with there. Yeah. In fact, I got to get to the hair lady. <laughs> Paula soon to get cut <laughs> needs to be needs to be cut so is your wife no you you got a good hair i do it myself i just get a razor oh out my and God. I just come on it. you're too good get no. out of here jeez you're not a great chiropractor now you can do you want to do my hair <laughs> <laughs> probably not the best way to do it but <laughs> do it's just really? easy yeah wow that's fantastic <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i gotta get away from this guy's too talented no no <laughs> Now I thought maybe you did Doctor BB Doctor Doyle. Right, 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 right. That yeah. Stuff <laughs> That's funny. That is good though, man. You got all that talent. So, who was the biggest celebrity you enjoyed? Or the oh, that's you interesting. Met out to Vegas. Um, I would probably say it, it was probably the uh, Vander Holyfield boxing matches because yeah, you're, you know, we put a table in his room, and every night, you know, he would have the regiment based on the boxing. So their workouts were at nine because they knew they would go on at 11. Right. So we'd be up in the room, you know, at that, that time cool. of night, but you get all the visitors that are in town oh, to come watch too. the boxing yeah, matches. Right. And you just come up and hear stories and, you know, their stories include Magic Johnson and, yeah, <laughs> and other yes, people. And other celebrities. Too. So you just get to sit back and listen yeah. and just, <laughs> just keep your mouth shut and enjoy the company, you know? Actually, if I could have, one of the things I get to do, it, well, it's in the Vegas, it, well, they fly into Vegas, but it's at uh, Lake Tahoe. My son, Ron, or Gary, is vice president of NBC, and he runs the pro -Am golf tournament. Oh, Lake that's Tahoe. fun, yeah. There are 64 celebrities. So this was a funny story. It was David Wells was a former pitcher for mm -hmm. the Yankees. He and I, and I forget the guy, the guy was a coach of the Jacksonville Jag Jaguars. This has been like 10 years ago or so. Anyway, in the, and I'm sure this happens where – celebrities get bugged about a signature mm -hmm. so this little 10 year old boy's coming by jerry rice mr rice mr rice can i get your signature and he goes no nah, i'm too busy and david wells grabbed him went up and grabbed him and said what are you too busy doing go give that kid a signature i thought david i'm proud of you yeah. <laughs> but it that's pretty neat the 64 celebrities yeah you know sports celebrities regular celebrities from tv and uh, president uh, for, former president uh, trump was there one year playing Golf. That's fun. Yeah, yeah so, golf for us. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty neat to be able to hit those celebrities. I got to actually perform on stage with Martin Short. Did you really? I did at the Lee Boy. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that was funny. That was that was a good time. It really was a lot of fun. He was really good guy. Really enjoyed. I, a neat little time. story about the Evander Holyfield. When um, the chiropractor takes care of him in Atlanta, I had reached out to him when it was an Atlantic City boxing match that I first met oh, him. I see. And then okay. I did a couple more boxing matches with him in uh, Atlantic City and in Vegas. And he said something to me, and it's sort of something that stuck with my whole career. He said, the only reason I'm giving you his phone number is because he has a spine. <laughs> just, just to remind me that he's just, you know, oh, don't, you know yeah, he's like a real just, person. Yeah, you're yeah, there yeah. to take yeah, care of something that's important yeah. to him, and yeah. and that's, you know, that's why I'm giving that's you his number. Yeah, yeah, just thing. something to keep you straight. You know what I mean? John, thanks for oh, coming in, buddy. It. Always good yeah. to see you. And tell Jennifer and Mackenzie I said hello, yes. and all the staff at the wonderful Millville Chiropractic Center, 1014 North High Street, Millville, 856 327 0320. For Dr. John Fresh, I'm Jim Quinn. For our producer, George uh, Kuchea. Thank you, George. Uh, thank you, and we appreciate your help today. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Have a good, uh, good evening. Take care. Bye bye. This has been a QBC television production in association with our partners and sponsors. QBC broadcasts on Comcast Cable Channel 22 and live streams its programming on Facebook and YouTube. All rights reserved by Quinn Media and QBC, programming that serves the South Jersey market. market.